So you get through all this drama. Yeah. You get through the three different stabbing incidents. Yep, yep. But you continue to make music. Yep, yep. And you continue to collab with artists. Yep. Like you continue to do shows. Yep. Continue to have big songs. Yep. And so forth. Um, do you feel frustrated a little bit that you, because you had songs that are somewhat pop. Yep, yep, songs. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And then you had the hardcore yep, grime yep. songs. Yep. Was there a little bit of a, an internal sort of battle between? Yeah. But the whole country have it had it anyway. It wasn't it wasn't just me. It's more like grime sort of wasn't popping or it, or it wasn't really where the money was. And you do different things for where the money is, basically. That's sort of what that was like. Like, uh, yeah, it, it, it was basically that. But it's not something I, I, like, I'm not proud of those. Like, we got number ones, but I'm not proud of those. You're not? I'll, no, I'll be more proud if it was our music that went number one. But it, uh, when you're at the foundation or the start of something, uh, sometimes you're going to build it up. 14, 15, 16 years will pass and then the new generation will come on and they'll reap the benefit of. So I think it was just, it was that. It was being a pioneer and being scared that a pioneer gets forgotten in a genre. Well, you said that if you stuck to the script, yep. you'd be millionaired up. Yep, yep, yep. I'm, I'm good anyway, I'm good, but uh, I'm, I'm finally good. I've got my head screwed on now, but... Uh, I would have earned more if I stuck to the script. What I meant by that, I think, is if I, I think the manager that me and Dizzy had, he had that path for me. But where I battled and da 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 da, da I jumped off of that. Because he's a really good manager. He was a really good manager. So I think, I think, I don't think I should have left him because he was still willing to help me. But it was my, Jealousy, uh, natural jealousy, you know, like, it was that. You've had money issues in the past? Not really, for, uh, not really for a while. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what recession is. I'm, I, like, a recession <laughs> comes around, it doesn't. I mean, because at one point, you know, you had a Bentley, you had an Aston Martin. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that, that type of thing. Yep, yep. Um, sold them, sold them, some of them on, because they get old and they yeah, lose so yeah. much money and you realize that you just... You know, d d but did you, you know, a lot of times, you know, and I, I went through this myself, yep. like, when you're young and you get a whole bunch of money, yep. you assume it's going to keep coming at this level forever. Yeah, and so, it's you, so, you know, you spend it before you earn yeah, it, thinking yeah. that more is coming, and then yeah. you fuck it up, and then, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and every business, I don't care what it is, yep. there's going to be ebbs and flows. There is. Do you think that you made some, some big mistakes? Money wise, along the way, not anymore. I don't. I, in oh, between twenty to. and thirty, I did. Between twenty and thirty, but since like thirty, I woke up and I think, like I have property and I have uh, yeah. sports shops. I, I, you know what? I, my head's my head. Watching uh, Cameron have like um, Taco Bell and da da da. These things like help me to think. Okay, it's not all just in the music, or different artists get like. Uh, um, like deals like he has one with a Ciroc. You know, it, it, I, I think watching things like that help you to understand that it's not just a music that you can earn from. And I think that's where my, I got my head screwed on because I wasn't just thinking, oh yeah, if I make this song, we're gonna, you know, there's just money there. There's money in merch everywhere, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you, you had this interesting statement. You said, yeah. God wasn't gonna let me bring the sound back. You, you know, you're talking about grime. Yeah. He said, he's looking at me going, you know what? You've had every chance in the world. You've had every deal, every penny. Yeah. Now let someone else come through. Yeah. And Stormzy's the kind of good hearted kid who could do that. Yeah. Explain that. Well, that means, all right, uh, how many chances do you get? Is basically that is what that Because you've had, outside the deals, you know, we talk about Excel, loads. Virgin, Asylum. Too many. Too many. Well, basically, I thought about this the other day. Each was a deal, like a deal, you give the music, we sell it. A few of them was, went sour, but basically a lot of them was like, this is my job, yeah. you pay me, I give you the job, you send me, I do press, 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 we sell, we tour, when it dries up, we slow down and we go again. So a lot of them were like our fulfilled terms too, but I just think that 
I could have done it in less with less work. Like Dizzy's done it in maybe six albums or some shit, and it's probably I'm probably like on the eleventh or you know what I'm trying to say. So I feel like less could have been more sometimes in that situation. Okay. And Stormzy, like some. Like n lately, I've been listening. I listen to Young Ma, Young Ma, Young Ma, Young Ma, uh, Young Ma. I listen to uh, Dave East. Yeah, I feel like Dave East is like New York. Yeah, he's reminding me of New York. Um, I listen to the other one, um, Ace Boogie. Is he not? Is he not? Not Ace Boogie. Um, You're talking about uh, A Boogie. A Boogie, sorry. A Boogie with the hoodie. Someone showed me something of him. Yeah, so he's dope. I yeah, just, so I just interviewed him actually. You know what I'm saying? So like. Like someone new, you have to. You can't like when Drake came or where yeah. you know. Like I think that when everyone's having a go and everyone's having a go, and if it becomes stagnant, like always, someone will come through and sort of breathe fresh air. Is what I meant by that one. Now, there was sort of a stigma attached to you at some point. I yep. don't know if any more that yep. you don't show up to gigs. Yep, 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 yep. You know, paid gigs. I, yeah, yeah. You don't. Show I don't up. take the money though. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's basically a lot of that stemmed from. Uh, it's just like it would have stemmed from where you, where the people say, "I'm going to be at that rave to come and get you." A little bit would have. So stemmed it's, it's paranoia. It's a. It definitely would have stemmed from there a little bit. But then I think that uh, after a while, it just became me. And like the booking agent, and just going to the same places all the time. Just like I've been in England, and I'm doing the same places like 14 years I've passed. I feel like I'm in the grade grade 10 forever. You know, like I'm just not going up a class. Yeah. So that's what that was like: self frustration, no visa anymore. I'm not allowed to go to America. That far. Oh, you can't go to America anymore. No, like I, I've been, I haven't been since like 08. So yeah, there was rumors about drug use. No, I know what drugs are, but I'm not like a heavy drug user. I think uh, I think the curse for even trying drugs, like if you sell drugs, I think there's a little curse there that you might try. Not that you'll end up on, but like, yeah, like a drug dealer might be in a club and pop a pill. Yeah, you know, he don't give a shit. He's just popping pills. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, yeah, I popped a pill or two over the years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that um, I don't. I don't think I've ever. Needed to go to rehab or anything. Okay, like so that. it never got. Nah, like it I never got heavy. I don't think I've uh, killed it like that. Nah, I never needed to go to rehab. I've never needed help. I've just know what the turn up is. Mm -hmm. If if there is one to be had, you know. That's it. What happened with you and uh, Ed Sheeran? Uh, Ed, I, no, you know what? Nothing happened. Maybe I was because uh, Ed Sheeran sort of came through my scene and became famous. Did he? Yes. And no one really knows it, like no one, and, right? Because I know of Ed Sheeran, like the pop singer. Yeah, yeah, no, Ed Sheeran came through my scene, through and like, he, like, yeah, he slyly did. He slyly came through. So was he a a, ra a rapper or? Well, he's a really good songwriter. He's a singer. He plays instruments. So he was working with a few people, and uh, I respect Ed. Like I, I've had loads of little fallouts with him, but the first fallout would have came when I done something for him, a feature. I want you to do a feature for me, and he, and now you're signed to the label. He didn't really want to do it, and they they didn't want him to do it like that. So I was like, "Wow, Ed, I done your one for you. Can you not do one for me?" And he was like, "Well, you I, you can, but you can't put it out around the time I done my one." And you know, it was one of those. It was just like a silly argument because I respect Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I mean, he turned into a superstar. Yeah, he did, he did. But he definitely came through our scene. And he, and, I, and if you ever asked him, if he said no, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> very surprised. You, so you knew that he was going to blow up the way yeah, he Yeah, he's talented, man. I, I worked with him a lot. Like, my manager used to work with him as well. And um, he's very talented. I, I, like, I, whenever I have had uh, any like bad mind towards him. I've had to step away and be like, no, come on. He's just like, he's a musician. He's like Harry Potter. Just leave him alone, you know what I mean? Respect him.